Blonde, blue eyes, you know, gorgeous body. Um, yeah. See, what I'm noticing he's doing is he's overdoing it now when he gives the compliments. It shouldn't be done more than like once, right? Maybe twice, but he's throwing out these compliments about her looks. This seems to be the third time. It's getting overdone. It, it's now turning into a thing, and that's not what it should be. Okay, y'all, my name's Anthony Resinello. I'm a social and relationship coach. I am going to react to Love Island UK. I reacted to Love Island US season one a couple months ago. Ah, you guys liked it, but I heard that this is like where the juice is actually loose. So that's what I'm gonna react to today. This is what I do here on this channel. I break down social skills, relationship skills, charm skills, confidence skills, all that skills stuff while watching videos. I also have a series called First Date where I put influencers on a date, match them with hopefully their dream person and then coach them through it. This is all about teaching relationship skills in a non-problematic, non-toxic way. Hopefully that's what I'm putting out to the world, who knows. But before I go on, I quickly wanna talk about my new membership, it's $5 a month. Each month I'm gonna choose members that will get first choice on videos for me to react to. You get a group video in my Discord with me. You get discounts on merch and on my new programs that I'm putting out. Lots of other stuff that I'm gonna be adding, but most of all guys, I really want you to take this seriously. You're gonna be supporting this channel. That's my spiel for that. You could get it with the link in the description. I will work as hard as I can uh, with this YouTube channel, but let's get to Love Island UK. Uh, I heard it's a shit show. Let's get started. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, oh I'm literally buzzing. I cannot believe it. Like, it, doesn't it, doesn't even, it doesn't even feel real. I'm really the first. We are literally we the, are the first. We are the first. Sorry, where are you from? Oh, no, Bristol. You're from Bristol. Hi, I'm Paige. I'm from Scotland. Oh, lovely to meet you. I'm Shanice. Shanice. I think the greatest thing about these new type of shows is that there doesn't seem to be many cameramen just like standing around, so it makes them feel even more free to be themselves. I mean, obviously the alcohol does most of the help, but the fact that there's no cameramen standing around, I think is also like a really cool aspect of this and of new reality that old reality shows didn't have much of. You have really cool eyes. <laughs> You have cool toys. Thank you. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. Oh. Off the bat, this is this is some good stuff here. What he is doing is he's expressing his attraction for her. I don't know their names. He's expressing his attraction for her, but he's doing it in a very matter of fact way. This is the thing that most people are so scared of doing because they think they have to have so much emotions of, oh, I like you so much involved in expressing attraction to somebody. But as you saw, he did it so plainly, so matter of factly, so like it's just saying, hey, I like your shoes. You have really cool eyes. Whatever he wanted to say, it might've sounded really stupid it doesn't matter. It is just him showing he is attracted to her and that he doesn't care, and this is big, that he doesn't care if she is judging him negatively for that. Now that's not to say that you should objectify somebody and not care if they feel objectified. That's not what I'm getting at. He is attracted to her. You are allowed to express your attraction for somebody, that is allowed. But when it becomes to an objectified level where he sees her as just a thing, something that he would like to just use and never talk to again, that's something completely different. And I don't believe those were his intentions. A very uh, important difference to be aware of. Thank you. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. Oh. Please, does the chat up languages I work for you? No, 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 not at all, I'm just saying, I'm actually pointing out your eyes. No, I can't understand their accents, but what I'm getting from her is she's saying, oh, you're hitting on me already. I think that's what she's saying, and the way he responds is. No, 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 not at all, I'm just saying, I'm actually pointing out your eyes. Like, Thank you. And he's saying, no, I'm just pointing out how pretty your eyes are. What he could have done is he could have gotten anxious and said, oh no, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a reason why somebody would react in that way, an anxious way, is because he truly was trying to get something from her through the compliment. And when she responded in a not super positive way, he would go, oh, I've been caught. She really knows that I'm just trying to get in her pants. But the way he responded was 
no, I'm genuinely just pointing out your eyes. Because of that, she noticed, okay, this guy's not trying to just get in my pants. He's not just trying to manipulate me. He's just expressing how he feels, right? Big lesson right there. Um, I'm a PA. Oh yeah, I don't even know what that is. Oh, you look like personal assistant. Oh, okay. What do you do? Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry, my British viewers. <laughs> I can't handle this. Uh, I tend to like, I guess, the posh accents, but this, these accents are a little, mm. they're not as easy on the ears as some others are. <laughs> Oh God, I'm gonna hear it in the comments. My second name is Fudge. Fudge? Yeah! Shawnee's Fudge. Yes. Well, fudge? Fudge. Oh. As in the chocolate. I know what Fudge is, so. Do you like Fudge? I mean, I have no choice now, do I? Okay. <laughs> There's no way to get really answer. I just don't even like Fudge. So what do you do then? So I'm a beauty consultant. Okay, so that could cover. be useful to me. <laughs> So I clearly need it because no one's acting forward, but it's no, fine. Uh, I, I could hardly understand what they're saying, but I do love British humor when she goes, do you like fudge? And she was genuinely asking him. She wasn't even setting up a joke or anything. And he goes, I have no choice now, do I? It's such British humor. An American person would say something like that, but just the way he said it, the tonality, the delivery. That's another reason I want to kind of live in the UK for a little while, just to like learn their, <laughs> learn their humor. It's, it's so fucking good. All we have is Ricky Gervais, really. Where, what else do we have? Like a little Russell Brand? He's not even a comedian anymore. Naz isn't my type at all. I mean, it's still early days, like anything can happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, like to talk to, he's lovely. I wonder what she means by not my type, like at all, but to talk to, he's lovely. Seems to me that, I mean, he seems to have a pretty good vibe, pretty charming. I wonder what her type is and if that just means physical. So I work with like councillors, like one below like MPs. Oh yeah, like politics. So you yeah, work in politics? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never had you down as like a politics girl. What well, did you have me down like, as? Just, I don't know. Go on. <laughs> you was going to say no. something, go on. <laughs> I just would never think politics, because like, when I think politics, I think someone like, dead serious, and you know what, I just... I can be serious. Yeah. If I need to yeah. be. I can be serious. So what do you do? I'm a male stripper. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> something that I like about UK women is that they tend to be a lot more straightforward. This, to me, is all cultural. This is all what different countries have been taught based on society standards, personalities, all, all that stuff. But all I'm saying is every time I see a UK personalities like this uh, in women, it, it makes me happy to see how straightforward they are. And it's almost like they will never take any shit from anybody. And I kind of dig that. So have you cheated? Well, I'm gonna tell you something now. Go on. I've never had a girlfriend. <laughs> ever. See, I've had trouble, me. Like, we just. Oh, go on, go I'm not, on. I wouldn't say I've had trouble, Give me the but glass. I just like people. Like, just seem to get like the bad, bad pick. Do you always, get like, the bad pick? Nah, though? honestly, do like. I want someone who's just like chilled, not like, but can have a laugh, but obviously got serious side and stuff as well. Yeah, you <laughs> seem to be you. <laughs> oh, see, I don't, I don't. Was she get swiping right? right? I definitely do feel. A little bit like the cat that's got the cream. Callum is ticking all the boxes right now, and he's such a lovely boy as well. So I think we're gonna we're gonna get along like a house on fire. It seems that these type of personalities, they truly are really authentic. And I have a feeling UK values their authenticity and not putting on any type of like fakeness whatsoever uh, when they interact. And it looks like they're just so matter of fact. Uh, being themselves around each other, not trying to really attract each other. How's being a police officer? It's fun. I can't yeah. lie. It's, it's exciting. Do you catch like murderers? Um, I mean, nah, probably not no. me per se. Really? Nah, you... nah, not really, nah. Seeing Mike in like a tropical two-piece is hard to picture him in like a police outfit yeah. arresting criminals on the street. Yeah. Why are you here? I don't really have like a story or anything. Like things in the past just haven't worked out. Is that a you thing? Is that a probably, them thing? It's probably a me thing, isn't it? Okay, I mean, so, I don't know. so you're beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. You're very nice, nice to look at. So how many guys have you been with? Like Again, expressing his attraction in a matter of fact way where he doesn't care about how she judges him about it. Like serious relationships. 
None. None? Mm -mm. So Not you're... seriously, no. Okay. I feel like I find it hard to let people in. Oh, so that's... I that's let people in. That's the... Oh, now we're digging deeper. <laughs> now we're digging deep. I know. <laughs> She's being playful about it. You know, I'm, I'm actually really liking all of these personalities. They're all authentic. They seem to be all, you know, good-hearted, good-natured, not trying to be fake, not trying to put on this air of I'm cool, I'm masculine, or I'm overly feminine, or whatever. They're just being themselves. They're just looking to connect, and they're expressing their attraction in doing so. Very, I mean, all all good social skills being exhibited, especially um, in terms of two people that are looking to see if they're attracted to each other and want to see if they can have a intimate relationship with each other. Good stuff. My first kind of conversations with her, I do feel like they're, they're, there's potential for a, a strong bond. So I feel like if anybody's going to open, open her up is definitely me. <laughs> so you struggle to let people in. Or is it the Possibly right person maybe. that ain't come, the right person ain't come around? Well, that's, I feel like it's a combination of everything. Yeah, of course. Everyone around me is mad. I think you've been blessed, low-key. Why? Because I ain't mad. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's got swag. He's got charm. That was so relaxedly delivered. <laughs> I love when you could deliver in a way where you are not trying to come off like you're some God's gift to the world, but you're not doing it in an apologetic way where it's like, oh God, I'm just joking. It was just so matter of fact, straightforward and plain about it. <laughs> I love confidence like that. <laughs> and just chatting to her downstairs. I was like, you know. No, but she seems like a nice girl though. She's really cool. She seems like a nice girl. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the same as me and Liam. Who's right? the only person she stepped forward yeah, for? Yeah, she seems so. dead mysterious, but I've only spoken to her briefly, but she seems like a nice girl. Yeah. yeah. Seems like a yeah. nice girl. Time will tell. And then you, big man. What are you saying? I am attracted. <laughs> you see, they're already talking about seems like a nice girl. You know, seems like a good person. It shows that, yeah, of course they're attracted. I mean, that's why they're there. They're attractive people being thrown together to see if they connect. And what they're focused on is because it's already expected that they're gonna be attracted to each other, they're talking about the personality. I think people from the North and the South here have got very different types of like yeah. banter, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, especially between like boys and girls. Yeah. But like when I was talking to her, she was actually like, like on my level, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm completely honest, like I don't fancy him. Really? He's shorter than me. Is um, he? That's what it is. Like, that's an issue The height. What, even with him? Are you sure? That yeah, like even when I took my shoes off, it's either like, well, we're like the same, but like I'm really short. I'm happy like getting to know him and like, he's, he's fun. Like he is fun to talk to him and like he's lovely. Mm. But I just think at the moment, I'm just not feeling it. I think she was the one at the beginning that said she likes tall, dark and handsome. Cat, is it Callum? Callum? Yeah. No, but my head's gone. So oh. like, what do you like? Like, what are you feeling? He's just so lovely to talk to. Oh. Yeah. Do you fancy him or not? Yeah, like, I really fancy him. I literally him. remember when he was coming downstairs. I said, said you, like, yeah, I said he he's hot. Oh. <laughs> he's hot. That's so cute that you, that you literally feel in him. He might get a little, like, arm rub tonight. Oh. oh. I mean, <laughs> no, just an arm. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't even know if they're snorers yet. <gasps> so, so far, it's pretty interesting to see where everybody's at on the first chat. It seems as though all of the men are pretty generally into the women that they've been matched with. Uh, the women, it's a mixed bag. Some of them are already attracted to them, into them, and want more, where the others are already just kind of saying, Nope, I'm not attracted. Now, I know that things change, right? You learn more about somebody, you connect with somebody on a deeper level, and things like, oh, he's too short for me, that could go away once you connect a little bit more. Doesn't always happen, right? Doesn't always happen, but it could. So it's really interesting to see this and to start going, hmm, I wonder where this can go from here. And I imagine that's why this show is so popular because it's throwing people together, really attractive. There's not a lot of cameramen, so they feel free to be themselves. There's a lot of alcohol, they're all half naked, and they are all generally really good people, it seems like, and 
they are just interacting with each other. And I'm pretty sure that there's like challenges of like making out and stuff like that. They're all sleeping in the same room as well. So to see how these relationships evolve, maybe there's some love triangles. Um, it'll be interesting to see how much is left on this episode. Okay, we got a little bit left. I'm gonna do a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna cut it. If you guys wanna see a part two, which I'd love to do, 5,000 likes, 5,000 likes. You know why? Because I believe in you and I believe in <laughs> I believe in Love Island. If we get 5,000 likes, I will immediately do a part two. I'm not gonna wait on it. The second somebody clicks that 5,000th like, I'm gonna set up the lights, set up the camera, sit down on this green, dirty ass couch and hit record. Um, but let's do a couple more minutes and then I'll finish up. The dance montage. Who's generally sitting watching this show going, oh, oh. I've had like two big relationships. I've done like five years and like two, two and a half years. Five years? Yeah. Oh my God, long, that's so long. That? Which one first? So five year first. Yeah. And then I moved to Australia. Yeah. And then I met my previous one in Australia. You, I feel like you go everywhere. I'm like a traveler, no? Are you a family girl? Yeah, for sure. Like, oh, yeah. I literally love, I'm so close to my sisters. Oh, yeah. We all look exactly the same as that. It's very sweet. I just love how naturally well mannered all these people are. In other words, like, their social skills are just on point. There's nothing like, amazing, mind-blowing happening, but good social skills doesn't have to be that, to be delivered well. They're interested, right? They're playful, but at the same time, they show a lot of values and sincerity. They express themselves well. You know, it's, it's really nice to just see straightforward good social skills, especially on like one of these trash reality shows. Partial is talking to Paige. It's his first ever conversation with an actual Scottish person. He asked if he could have subtitles. I said, no, you can't. I don't think he understood. All right, so it's good that they're acknowledging the accents as well, because I'm sometimes like a hard nut to crack. So I'm such a laid back guy. Yeah. Like, that's one thing you never have to worry about. And that's what I really like about you from just from just knowing. Just like obviously you're, you're gorgeous, it's gorgeous as well. But um it's nice just to be able to, to be able to sort of be on the same page as someone in that yeah. the same oh, page. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so am I like your Did he just dab? Ooh. Yeah, blonde yeah. and blonde, blue eyes, you know, gorgeous body. Um okay. yeah. See, what I'm noticing he's doing is he's overdoing it now when he gives the compliments. It shouldn't be done more than like once, right? Maybe twice, but he's throwing out these compliments about her looks. This seems to be the third time. It's getting overdone. It, it's now turning into a thing and that's not what it should be. Um, even though he, again, he still doesn't seem like he's trying to gain her interest in doing it, uh, it's still getting annoying. And good social skills, you shouldn't be doing it more than, I'd say like once in a while. Also, it's so much better put when it's a playful showing of attraction rather than just a straightforward showing of attraction. I went to uni with my first girlfriend and being brutally honest with you, I cocked up first time around. Yeah, wow. you're looking through his narrowed eyes. Might cheat on her. Oh. When he said that he cheated his first girlfriend, um, that was like a red flag. I was like, mm. I have quite high expectations. I'm quite, it could be quite hard work. I mean, she's already looking for reasons to not like him. So this was already a red flag. Like, so if she was already attracted to him, she'd be forgiving that instantly, I would say. Who knows, but uh, she'd be more likely to. But I mean, um, like I said, I'm very laid back, you know, I'm in no So pressure. can you put up with high maintenance? Yes. Of course I can. Okay. No, I okay. One thing I do love to do is spoil the girl. Not even in like that way. Like I'm hard work in terms of like emotional. So like you've got to be very persistent. Um, look at me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> be persistent. Uh -huh. And it will come. Uh, well. Yeah, this, this interaction is not very strong right now. You see the breaking of eye contact with her. He's doing it also. And it seems like he has just a stifled expression of himself right here. Uh, possibly he already learned that she's not into him or she learned that from the beginning. And so he kind of is going into it now, knowing that she's not that into him, which might be stifling him. I don't know, but 
there's just something that's not working here. And I don't think it's on her end. I think it is on his end. There's something not there. There's definitely a lack of playfulness as well, which is very important when first meeting somebody, especially in an intimate dynamic such as this. Well, you'll crack it eventually. Cool, Hopefully. that's positive. You're definitely a nice boy. Good, and you're a lovely girl. Mm. She said she's high maintenance Fourth um, time. and she's a bit of a challenge, but she wants to do the best things in life uh, don't come without hard work. So I definitely think that that's something I'm, I'm ready to sort of start and breaking down the walls. And I think I've started the process. All right, we're gonna end it there. I really like this show. I, I actually like it a lot more than the American version. I just, I don't know. There was something off with the American version. It seemed a little more forced. This seemed like it's not forcing how obvious the situation is about the show like the whole the whole rules of the show i think it's probably because it's been six seasons already so they know what they're doing if you want to see a second one again five thousand likes i will do a part two immediamente uh Whatever. Again, if you want to be part of the membership, support the channel, get a ton of benefits, especially choosing what videos I'm going to react to next. The link is in the description. You will be really, really helping out the channel and enabling me to make more videos by hiring an editor. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You could watch another video of mine right here.